YouTube, it's your girl PM coming to you with the AM PM or PM vlog. And I'm here in the studios and I'm going to share with you a pretty recent hobby of mine that I have picked up and plan to do more. And that is I've been doing some Lego work. Playing with Legos. Uh, it started well as a child I've always played. I played with lots of Legos. I played with the chunky ones and the, the little, I don't know, we had like a huge box of just a mix match of lots of Legos. I spent a really long time since I picked up Legos. I got back into it mostly because I saw I am building uh, his Lego Mario sets and I watched him do it and it looked really fun and I did like just like a small section of it and it was like so therapeutic it was really cool and fun just building like a tiny like mushroom house I was like oh man I want to get a Lego set and like build my own thing and so did some browsing and I went to Target and found a Star Wars I went to a Star Wars I knew I wanted to do a Star Wars Lego and so I, the first one I picked up was the X Wing that I have right here. I built this about two months ago. This one was really fun to build. It was or 747 pieces and it comes with Princess Leia. This is why I wanted to do it because I had Princess Leia R2-D2 who is my favorite Star Wars character, my first favorite, R2-D2, and Luke with a tiny little lightsaber and he's in his little flight suit. So cute. I love the characters and then I thought this was like a medium range, here show this, this was like a medium range skill level that I thought I could start with. I have, I like building things little builds of like metal metal earth I've done a couple of those but I haven't done a Lego set formal Lego set and this was my first one and it was pretty easy I used um, mostly used all the directions from the Lego app which is like really fun to explore and then all the steps are like very clear and easy so this was like really complicated to put together because it this mechanics moves the x-wing moves up and down there were stickers that I had to put on sticker decals and it was kind of like a the X definitely made it like a really weird and mechanical shape but it was really therapeutic and fun and relaxing to like work on this because you just do one one step at a time like put like three pieces together all right you completed three pieces then you put the those pieces on top of another and you just slowly build together till you have this finished work and it was really awesome one thing is really cool that I like about this x-wing once you pop it out it has little lasers that shoot out you pull it you go you pull it back I think. How did I do it? There we go. I had to turn it. Pull it back and it goes bang! I don't know if you saw it but you probably heard me do it. Yeah so it comes with like you could shoot things or people with your Lego X-Wing. But just not in the eye. This would definitely poke an eye out. So you can play with it. There it goes. And yeah, I built this X-Wing, and then the second build that I've done is this TIE Fighter. So it was like the second like medium level that I wanted to do. And these took me maybe like two hours, two or three hours to build. I took my time and leisure with it. With the X-Wing, and with this one, I think it's, I don't know, 700. It's 700 pieces, somewhere around 700. And it came with, I don't remember who this white professor man is, but he has a gun, 
white hair and a beard and like a tan suit. I don't remember where he goes. We have a stormtrooper, a crazy little empire fighter guy. He's a bad guy. And then also in here it opens up and we have oof this fighter guy this emperor empire tie fighter 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 pilot fighter guy and he has a gun and he has a little seat you put him in and he closes up and there it is this one was a little bit easier to make it didn't have any movable mechanics like the TIE Fighter but it's still really fun to build totally worth it I think they were all about 50 bucks each and it's something that I would really want to um, continue building I have my eye on like a few more builds both Star Wars there's some cool Harry Potter ones that I have my eye on that I want to try also but I have to make some room in my craft space and like shelf space so I had to do that I, I want to clean that part out first because like I barely have like a space for these and I really want to do more it's like the most soothing and satisfying activity I've done in 2020 I think <laughs> and it's so fun and yeah I love Star Wars and then I love the feeling of building with Lego. It's just so relaxing and fun and satisfying, blissful, joyfulness. And I just wanted to share that with you. One thing I noticed too after I started building with these Legos like a couple months ago, there's also the Lego show. It's like a Lego showdown. And there's like these crazy amazing builders who build Legos really like huge scale and fast and they move and they're really artistic and it's really cool to see like how big Legos are and the talent that people have. I think one one day I will want to try and build like a whole sculpture. That's on my bucket list. Sometime in my life I want to make a humongous Lego sculpture of something. If you like this video hit that thumbs up, sub, and thank you all for watching and hope you have a great day stay safe and peace